We are Echoes for oh. You're backstage with Metalheads. This is Pete from Metalheads, and I'm backstage at the Bloodstock Festival 2010, hanging out with Echoes Fall. How are we doing, guys? Yeah, we're doing good. A bit awesome tired. Awesome source. Awesome source. Yeah. Uh, you guys played today, right? We did, yeah. How was the show? Amazing. It went down really well. 11 o'clock in the morning, we had a circle pit and wall of death. I don't think you can do much better than that, to be honest with you. 300 people. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was exciting. Cool. And for you know the fans out there who you know, don't know you guys, can we get like a back history on Echoes Fall? We can, I'll take it away. Um, basically, I split up with my old band, Supremacy. Um, basically found Seb wandering around uh, in the other practice rooms and just said, look, do you want to come over and practice with us? Yeah. And the um, rest is history as such, you know. We just got it all together, we got our sound and we hooked, we gelled it. It was, it was good, it's interesting. And, uh, what would you say is the sound of Echoes Fall? Uh, melodic death metal, I'd say. Um, but you could call it party core or deathcore or metalcore, whatever you want to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. Just like playing music, that's that's all you need to know. And uh, you got on Bloodstock through the Metal for the Masters show, is that right? That's right, yeah, we uh, we beat over 200 bands and Simon Hall, the guy who uh, runs the unsigned stuff, chose us out of uh, the bands as well, so that was uh, pretty epic to be honest. Yeah. And what do you make of, you know, Bloodstock putting in that effort, you know, for unsigned bands? Oh, it's that worth it. it <laughs> yeah, it's worth it, it was absolutely worth it. All the hard work, all the money we spent, paid off at the end of the day. Uh, do you think there's anything, you know, more festivals, labels, anything could do to help support smaller bands? Um, festivals, no, because the unsigned thing is kind of a... More active A&R or easier contact would be easier, but then every band uh, would be after it, wouldn't they? So, I guess you've got to make yourself known. Yeah, the, the hard work is worth it at the end of the day, so it's probably best that they're not easy to contact. <laughs> Do you guys have a CD out there? We do, yes. Um, we've got an EP called Ignite the Fury, which is uh, our debut EP. We didn't do a demo, we just went straight to the EP. Went down really, really well. That's a bit old now, and we've started on our album. So that'll be out sometime next year. Sometime. Have you been writing much at the moment? Um, we've written quite a bit, about to be half honest. Of it done, half of it's done, yeah. Are you hoping to release it next year, are you? Yeah, it'll be about May time off. Yeah, about May. And uh, gig-wise, then, are you going to be gigging around the country that much? Um, well, so we're trying to organise some tours. Yeah, not this year. Next year, we're going to be touring um, as best as we can, get on with some bands. Um, other than that, it's a bit quiet at the moment. We're going to be working on the album quite a lot, so we've got a lot of, all the artwork to sort out, and lyrics and music itself, everything. everything <laughs> yeah, so there's quite a lot to be done. And um, obviously we've got, a, we've got a really good theme for the album, so I think people yeah, are going to be quite... Concept, is it? It is a concept idea at the moment, but um, to be honest with you, I, th well, you know? I think it's going to go down really well. It's quite a good idea, to be honest. That's really cool. Well, uh, guys, I'm going to let you uh, go and uh, enjoy the rest of the festival. Uh, cheers for hanging out with me today. No problem. Cheers, guys. Cheers.